guys how are you welcome to another video it's Cody and today uh, we want to talk about honeypots right so we want to see how we can set up a honeypots in our info in our uh, infrastructure so in our network and then uh, we can make it visible to the attackers or bad actors and uh, once they try to scan that or connect to that machine so we will get a notification it can be by sms or it can be by email and also obviously it will be stored the, on the server as well right so the tools or the product that we want to use is uh, open canary so it's open source one so there's two versions of that one open source and one paid one so but in this video we are going to talk about the open source one right so there's a git repository and you can see things the an open canary so you can it's a ba it's based on python as you can see here this is a python based project and uh, it really needs a low resources so in the with the minimum uh, system configuration you can uh, have this in your network and uh, it's a really nice thing to have right uh, so let's see uh, how we can install it what it is how it works so this is the git page and you come here so there are three or couple of different ways to install it ubuntu macOS, or by so or based on git or docker but in this video we are going to uh, install it uh, on ubuntu right you can see these are this is the prerequisites so python uh, 3.7 or 3.9 so based on the architecture of your uh, server or pc or uh, configuration and uh, yeah so i already downloaded the ubuntu server so i installed that and uh, let me have it here yes this one here uh, you can see so this is ubuntu test server so i just downloaded it from ubuntu website and you can see okay if download ubuntu server so just you can come here and then ubuntu server download yeah and then yeah i just downloaded this one so lifetime uh so long time support and yeah that's it so it, you can also do it so basically there's nothing so uh let's get started with the actual installation of open Canary, right so here you can see uh, again to be faster i already did that so i want to make the video short and useful as possible as useful as possible so you can see here the first comment so yeah installation of ubuntu right so we are using this version so we have to install uh, several packages on that as you can see uh, python 3 dev p virtual environment skippy and uh, these two libraries and then we need to activate the virtual environment so we will create a virtual environment and then activate that and also then we will install that right so i can bring it here yeah okay so you see this is the first comment then we, we do that as you can see it's already everything installed because as i mentioned i want to be fast and make the video short but basically there is nothing yeah, yeah you can just copy paste this command and then do the same and then after that you can write so this yeah the second uh, second comment we are creating a virtual environment and now you see it's created and then we are going to activate it so let's do that environment being and also activate so as you can see here uh, in the beginning of the line it is written env so we are in this environment and now let's install uh, open canary yeah? so keep installed open canary and then as you can see everything already satisfied because i already installed that so now we have it let's uh, see what the documentation says and after that you can see there are two different features so which you can also uh, install if you want but in our case we are done with it and now we are going to run it yeah uh, 
um, yeah, configuration open canary. So as you see, the first thing that we need is open canary configuration file. So let's see that. And here you can see it is yeah mentioned the sample will be here. So with this command open canary dash dash copy config. Uh, let me also have it hmm, open yeah this one oh. open canary d. So this is the command and then copy config. So a config file already exists again because I already did that. So now we are good to go and then let's see how this configuration looks like cat it's it is in etc and then open canary and then open canary configuration so this is the file this is the configuration file so you can activate different servers telnet ssh http https or different logins so you want to say an sms and the email or everything you can configure it here and uh, let's see how it can start it all right so let me stop it if it is already there mm -hmm. Okay, open. So I just try to stop it so you don't need to hear because I don't know if I already run it or no for my installation. So, yeah, now you can see. Let's see. Okay, now there's nothing there. Let's see. Start. And now, as you can see, it's starting. So now it's working, right? Let's. Uh, here 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 and then you scroll down so you, there is another file here regarding for more information go to the main site yeah so this one so this is the main site for more information on the configuration file so here how uh, you can create the email address and just uh yeah let's play it with it a little bit so now the service is running right and uh, let me tell you mm -hmm, let's enable ssh for that we want to create this honeypot and also activate the ssh so if someone tries to ssh to the server then we will get a notification uh, so we are going to change the configuration open canary and open canary then you can see here this is the configuration file as you can see the first line you can set up a name for that and then after the different services you can activate and here this is the logging format so as you can see here there is a logger here and then if you want to create a email configuration so you just you know you need to copy paste here and then yeah of course you have to have a SMTP account so if you want to send it from a gmail account and you can set it up here and also for the credential you can use this one so it's everything simply mentioned but just uh, here for google i try that so i create a google account and then for that google account i created an app password right so app password is different than your normal uh, google account password so keep that in mind so you have to create another password which is called app password um, to use google smtp server to send the email to your uh, mailing list or to whomever you want to get an email so <clears throat> here you can see there are different configurations and now let me activate ssh here where is that tell okay ssh here okay i think i opened this file as a reader so let me mm, quit that one and then open it with sudo so i can write it and, it, uh, and now you can see let's activate ssh so here as you can see ssh is not enabled yeah so i will make it true and now i will stop the service and now i start it again mm -hmm, mm -hmm. start it again 
now you can see the service is starting just let me show you the logs as well Net var tmp open canary so you can see this is the log so the log is just now for the <clears throat> setting up the server so there is not not that much information here because we haven't deploy any simulated attack yet but let's see yeah so this is my kali linux so as an attacker so they are in the same network and let me see here just to show you yeah as you can see the ip address here so now i wanna try to ssh it and let's see yes i want to ssh it and now we are trying to connect to our honeypot but the attacker does not know it is a honeypot yeah it's just try to attack it or try to connect it or scan it so we just now activated the ssh but we can activate other protocols other tools or even we can activate it when the server is getting scanned we want to also get the notification for example when we when the attacker runs in map and the ip of our honeypot then also we get notification but let's see here yeah i want to connect that and just uh, write yes and just uh, password so obviously the attacker does not have the password at the beginning and now let's see the lock so at the beginning here you just saw the lock files and now let's again see the lock files now you see the logs so you can see here so in this line because i didn't uh, install the configuration the guest configuration so now i cannot really highlight the text for you in the uh, in the uh, terminal but you can see here this lock uh, or it's better let's read the log which one was this ssh that we tried to okay here this line you can see these lines are showing that um, SSH. There wanted to, it. There was an SSH connection, so which you can see the password here in these lines. We entered one one time AD, the other time SD, and you can see uh, here destination host as well. So which is our honeypot and also destination port twenty two. You can see as well and also the source ports right source destination yeah so uh i mean uh, source ip and destination ip yeah so this is the general log how it looks like and as i mentioned so if you want to change anything if you want to create a configuration that you get an email or something you can change here and change this block and add the information which is mentioned here so then you will get that notification as well so it was this for a video i tried you uh, you enjoyed this video and please like and comment and if you like the channel subscribe it for the more videos uh, but this is extremely nice uh, technology yeah, or product that you should use in your network to just grab the bad actors or attackers who are already in your network and block them for further access or further activity yeah? once you get them you find the IP address the ports and then you can close it and then you can do the incident response and um, protect your the rest of your network yeah? then thank you everybody for watching my videos and have a nice day. Bye-bye.